though. Wait, I'm just gonna. Hmm. When I when you re react to this appropriately. Oh, why would you hit me? Okay, perfect. That's how we sink. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> All right, let's get back to it. Woohoo! Welcome back to V Cup. Oh God, my game is frozen. That's safe. I think my game has crashed. How did, how did your game crash? We just started. Wait, no, it, it, it's like I, I can't tell what's going on. I think my game has actually crashed. Actually, I'm smacking you with my map mop. Um, technical difficulties. <laughs> Oh, of course! I hit stop recording, and it's fixed! Of course it did. Okay, hold up. Do you want me to stop or just keep recording? No, I just keep recording. Okay. Just, okay. We're back. All right! Everything worked out. Everything's I mean, fine. Crap, I need to resync, actually. You keep doing you. Okay. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, I'm resynced. Let's go. All right. We'll leave that all in. We won't edit any of that out. <laughs> It'll be an adventure. It'll be like, oh, God. Yes, you know, all well, the troubles of being that first-hand look at the troubles and tribulations of being a Let's Player, which are actually kind of few and far between, but still. That's fine. Again, to be fair, you are the one who are... Who closed the incinerator? Why would you do such a thing? To I, be fair, I don't you are know. the one editing the video, so whatever you put in or leave out is entirely up to you. That is true. So it's going to be fun syncing everything, but it should work out pretty well. Yeah, it's not so bad. You just gotta like find a spot and be like, okay, where does this all make sense? Yeah, I think the problem with syncing is that is syncing each other's gameplay so that when I do cutbacks, it makes sense. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. But yeah, that's some inside look into our conversations about editing and. <laughs> we. Yeah. So fun. I think it's kind of unfair that a lot of people make so much money like doing certain things compared to like other people who do kind of like objectively more important jobs. That's true. That's I'm not just talking about though. like sports either. Like I get why sport people are paid as much as they are because of like advert ad revenue and like how much money like sport teams bring to an economy. Yeah. But like I'm talking about like let's players and stuff like some of them like the big ones. I'm not even talking like PewDiePie either. I'm talking like other ones like they make so much money and it's like God like not even doctors make that much sometimes. <laughs> Well, it's true, but to be like, I don't know, I like to liken it to the idea that they're basically celebrities. Yeah. It's like they're entertainers, that's what they do. It's the same kind of idea, because if you kind of think about it, a lot of them too, the way that they act like when they're doing their Let's Plays is not how they are, like, for real. It's yeah, it's act. like a personality type thing. Yeah, so I kind of look at it as sort of the same idea. That's a good point. Like, it's crazy, and to be fair, a lot of them, like, do a lot of other stuff beyond just the playing of video games. Yeah, that is fair. I don't know. It's just like, when you, like, say it out loud, and it's like, oh, like, I play video games, and I make, like, a ton of money, and then another guy's like, I'm a- I drive an ambulance to save people's lives, and I make, like, far less <laughs> than you. It just sounds really bad. It does- yeah, it does, but... To be fair, there are people who get paid a lot of money for doing nothing. Yeah, Coffee looking at Kardashian you, Donald Trump. Trump. Well, I don't like Donald Trump, but to be fair, he did build a business. Yes, from his small loan of a million dollars. Yes, his small loan of a million dollars, which is ridiculous. But still, at least he Yeah, did. yeah, I, I get it. Like, he actually did build his business and all that jazz. It's just... Oh my god, I can't believe that man might be the next president. Ah, uh, have fun with that. <laughs> yep. You're safe up there in the north. Yeah, man. Great West North. Go, go to yep. it. Also, that's not totally dating this video or not. If you're watching this video from the future and Donald Trump is our president, I, let me let me just say that I think the guy is swell. <laughs> and um, I have nothing but good things to say about the man. Hooray! All hail our lord and savior, Donald Trump. <laughs> Oh my god. And if you're watching this from the future where he isn't the president, then thank fucking god. We did Screw it. that guy. You guys made America great again. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> Alright, well, okay, there is a dirty bucket of water in front of the open half of the incinerator, so just watch out for that. Okay, I probably won't be coming down to the incinerator for a little. That's Actually, great. no, I'll probably be coming down real quick because I'm almost cleaned up all the dead bodies. Oh man. 
Okay, the upstairs wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It's just gonna be a lot of like mopping now that all the bodies are cleaned up. Yeah. This room that I'm in right now is getting there. There's just a lot of blood and grossness like everywhere. Alright, I need to clean up the fucking papers and all that jazz as well. Yeah. Uh, are we supposed to clean the inside of the toilets too? I have no idea. I guess you could try and see what happens. Hold up. Where's my mop? That's not my mop. That's not my mop. <laughs> That's not my mop. <laughs> You're not supposed to clean the inside of the toilets, or at least I can't. Okay. Can you do it with the broom or no? Because I know the nope. broom is like right there. So I'm trying to put this toilet seat back on. Is this toilet seat broken? No, but they should fit. Eh, close enough. The game's gonna deduct points for that probably, but oh well. <laughs> Your toilet seat is not uh, good enough. Oh, that's... Okay, apparently I don't need that. I just threw it on the ground. Nice. And no, I will not make a Lonely Islands reference. Screw you. Oh. That's the obvious joke. Fair enough. I honestly haven't listened to that much of the Lonely Island. I love Andy Samberg, but... Oh, he's great. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, awesome show. I love that show. It is hilarious. Have you ever heard um, you know, uh, the actress who plays Eva Mendez in I IRL? Like, outside of acting? Wait, wait Eva... What? Who? Oh, sorry, uh, Rosa Mendez. Oh. The... Oh, the, like, black-haired chick? Yeah, the, uh, like, hardcore, like, really cool badass chick yeah i know i don't like i've never seen her anywhere outside of the show oh so. my god look up an interview with her her voice like she has like the most different voice i have heard really of that cast oh my gosh it's actually amazing she sounds like um god, i don't even know how to explain it like a high-pitched marge simpson that's weird it's like <laughs> really bizarre i don't know how um... to explain her voice Oh, oh, actually, you know that one actress who gets, or uh, one comedian who gets a lot of flack because her voice is kind of like high-pitched and annoying? There's a couple, but... A, a female one. There's a couple, but... <laughs> oh, well, Sarah her Silverman? voice sounds like them. Sarah, is it Sarah Silverman? Because I know she bothers No, it's not people. Sarah Silverman. Okay. Yeah, because, um, you know the movie Wreck-It Ralph? Yes. I love that movie. But a bunch of my friends refused to watch it with me because Sarah Silverman plays Vanellope Von Schweetz. Oh god, that's and... Miss Cat. That's like personality clashing right there. No, 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 you don't understand. Have you ever seen Wreck-It Ralph? I have not, actually. Oh my god. Okay, well, see, when I was going into the movie, I didn't think that she would do such a good job as Vanellope Von Schweetz, but honestly, I can't think of anyone who could have played it better. Huh, she did such a good job, so I got really excited because I was like, guys, no, like, you have to see it. She's so good. And they were like, oh, but, like, she sucks. We hate her. And I was like, I know, but, like, she's great in the movie. Just, like, trust me on this one. And then we sat there to watch it, and they all fell asleep. Wow, rude. And I was like, you know what, guys? I hate you. And, like, the thing that sucked, too, was they, like, kind of woke up to watch. Okay, this is not working. But anyways, they, like, kind of woke up to watch it. And then when it was over, I was like, see, like, wasn't that such a good movie? Like, oh my gosh. And they were like, yeah, it was good, but it would have been better if she wasn't in it. And I was like, you know what? Wow. I rude. really don't like you guys. Like, your sass level is way up there, and it needs to come way back down. Yep. Okay, this body does not... Can I just cut this body up and... Sh okay, no, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I was going to say, do you want to try, like, putting it... Um, in the, in the saw room. No! Oh. Oh, Ab, if you got the time, come over to the elevator and help me out with this dead body. Give me two seconds to throw this piece of, I don't even know what it is, into the incinerator. Alright, I'm just gonna throw this bucket into the incinerator. I need you to help me with the body. It's in the elevator. Oh, okay. Hello, body. How are you? I got it. Thank you. <laughs> right. His arms are just flapping all over the place. Flappy, flap, flap. And be free! Infinite. And by free, uh, you meet cremated! Hooray! Same thing. Let's try this bucket stacking one more time. Son right. of a bitch, you gave me a body part. <laughs> so much for that plan. 
Oh wait, no, it didn't give me a body part. I just went to the wrong side. Oh. That's weird. No. Nope. Mm. <laughs> I saw Hold that. On. No, you didn't. Shush. <laughs> wait, how did we get blood? Did I? I was gonna say, did I get blood on the wall when I brought the body part in here? Yes and yes. Okay. One yes would have been a fine, Sassy McSasserton, but that's fine. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I'm just a sassy person. <laughs> Sass master over here. Actually, another friend of mine, I was talking to him and um, I said something that like, and he was just sort of like, wow, you're like being super sassy right now. And I was just like, just call me Sassy McSasserton, queen of the sass. And he was sort of oh, like, oh, get the hell out. Yeah. And he was just sort of like, yeah, okay. And he changed my name and his phone to that. <laughs> wow. So whenever I text him, it's just like, you have a message from Sassy McSasserton, Queen of the Sass. Beautiful. That's what we want. <laughs> That's what everybody wants. This is what happens when you have me as a friend. <laughs> Wonderful. Wouldn't have it any other way. I know, right? Aww. You're so sweet. Thanks. Yay. See, we bond. We have good times. Hell yeah, we do. Yeah, and then I smack you over the head with a mop and everything goes back to the way it was. <laughs> and the circle of life continues. <coughs> oh my gosh. And she's dying. <coughs> okay. Well, I'll I be just... sure to call 911 or 119 or whatever it is you people call over there. <laughs> well, 911 like everybody else, except for the English. And the Chinese. I think the Chinese call 119. Oh, okay. No, um, in England it's 999, I think. Oh, cool. Which actually makes a ridiculous amount of sense because instead of pressing two different numbers, you press just one. Yeah, it's actually, like, that does make more yeah, sense. Yeah, because I imagine if you're, you know, having a heart attack or something, it's a little difficult to kind of be like, okay, press the nine twice and then the one. Well, once and then one I guess the world just hates people who are in emergencies. Yeah, seriously. The only thing that would kind of suck about the 999, though, is back in the old days with the rotary phones. Oh, God. Let's never talk about the rotary phones. <laughs> we still have a rotary phone at my house. You do? It's in the garage. I was going to say, I've never seen it. It's in the garage. It works. Wow. Yeah, Fancy. Really cool. Never use it because no one's ever out in the garage for that long. Well, actually, no, that's not true. We use it a lot in the summer. You do? Well, not a lot, but, like, if we're outside and the garage door is open and the phone starts ringing, we'll, like, use the rotary phone. Oh, the rotary phone is actually connected to the landline? Oh, yeah, it works. Wow. Like, I think I used it, like, once to call a friend just to be like, I just called you on a rotary phone. <laughs> that's the coolest thing ever. I know, right? It must be so popular. I know. Oh my gosh, okay, I just realized- OH MY GOD! <laughs> end the episode now! <laughs> just end it! Hard cut it now! Oh my god, that's What do you mean you're not ending it? <laughs> that was funny. God, damn it. Should we, I only knocked over three, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> oh my god. I saw you come around the corner and I immediately was like, oh god, she's gonna she's gonna do it. She's gonna do it. I couldn't she help did. it. There's a thing on the wall here that looks like a smiley face. God, you monster. No, like, come here, come here. See um see this thing right here? Yeah. If you stand back, it looks like a smiley face. Like the wires on the bottom of this are the mouth. And then the turbine thingy looking at the top are the eyes. Looks You're like not yeah, see? That's why I was like, oh my god, it's a face! And then you knocked over my three buckets! Oh no, not three buckets. <laughs> they were apparently dirty too. I actually didn't even know why there was stuff in them. Oh, there you go. I don't know. Yeah, to be fair, if it had been like seven buckets, I would have been like, Ooh. Why would I have been carrying like seven buckets? I don't know, we tried before. That, how did that go? You tell me. Well, I died, but you know. You think I would try that again? I don't know. You're sadistic enough, it might happen. Oh wow, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All about the compliments right here. Alright. Alright, come here, incinerator. I need to incinerate something. I don't know what body part that was. You just want to incinerate something. You don't even care what. No, I don't care what it is. I just want the water.
watch something burn. Wow. Yeah, some people just want to watch the world burn. I'm one of those people. Apparently you are. Yeah. Okay, I think I can actually start cleaning up the blend now, because I think that's all the bodies gone. Yay! Hooray! I'm about on the second floor right now. Oh, fair enough. I need buckets and lots of them. Stacks on stacks. I'm not gonna stack the buckets. The last time, oh no. I don't want it, you know. God damn it. Oh, you got it. I don't even got a body part. I don't even know what body part it is. The finger. The no. middle one. It was, it just looked like a hunk of flesh. I don't know what it was. Well then. Yeah. Probably the penis. <laughs> No, it was way too big for that. Damn it, I was like, I don't know what- I, I know there's a joke there. <laughs> there's a I joke there want, somewhere, but I, I don't know find it. it. Oh like, God. you don't know how hard my brain is working to find a joke for that. <laughs> you know what, no, let's leave it to the audience. If you can think of a good penis joke, put, the, put it in the comments right now. <laughs> yes, do it. Just show us how incapable at comedy we are. Yeah. Do our job for us. Prove your worth. <laughs> God. Oh my goodness. That's probably a bad idea, asking YouTube commenters to uh, give us penis jokes. <laughs> oh God. Oh well. The video itself is gonna get flagged for like something and it won't even be because of us. It'll just be because of the flippin' penis jokes in the comments. There's too many penis jokes. YouTube has to flag it. <laughs> you took it too far. Like, and again, knowing YouTube like flagging like thing like procedure, I wouldn't be surprised. I know. Oh my god, YouTube's ridiculous these days. Yeah. So dumb. I for one welcome our YouTube overlords and don't care what they flag because it's all up to them. Please don't flag us. <laughs> they are the heroes we deserve. Alrighty. I need like one more. Wait, no, I think. Hey, that bucket still works. I'm gonna grab a bucket, and then I think we're gonna need to call it. Back up here. You mean the underfloor, right? The top floor is nowhere near being called. Wait, what? No, I meant call the episode. Oh, okay. I thought you meant uh, call it, as in like call it done. I'm like, uh, the upstairs is not done. I was gonna say, I haven't even finished cleaning the room I'm in right now. Alright. I just meant like in general. We're getting up there in time. We need to stop. Well, time flies when you're cleaning blood, I guess. God damn it, kill yourself, Bucket. Just kill yourself. I'm done. Just have I the bucket kill itself. I don't know and I don't care. I'm done. I'm being dramatic. <laughs> right, fine. We'll end the episode there. Okay, bye, everybody. Peace out. <laughs> don't forget the penis jokes. Yeah, penis jokes.